Well, for our canyoneering, we got to do Morning Glory. And it's a really unique trip because you start up on top of Slick Rock and it's kind of barren, there's not as much plant life. You start hiking down over these sandstone fins and it's kind of hot out there usually when you're starting. You get to the first rappel. You kind of just rappel into this little grotto, a little slot canyon called the Medieval Chamber. I was the first one to go down. It was a super cool cliff. It was kind of like wavy and textured. The temperature just changes like in an instant. This is like the basement of the desert and it's just surrounded by these stone walls that have been in shade almost all day. And it was super pretty because it was down into this like grotto, into this cave. Then you go out to Morning Glory Natural Bridge. It's the sixth largest land bridge in the United States. It's a beautiful arch that opens into this wonderful chamber that's full of life. So you got to rappel in between the arch and the cliff. That rappel is super unique because it's about 100 feet tall and it is partially free hanging. And so even if you've rappelled before, most people haven't done a free hanging rappel that's that spectacular. This time when I got on the line, I felt like the coolest person in the world. Like, I could do anything. There's this water in this like oasis, I think is a good word for it, that you've landed into. And you could fill up your water bottle and stay hydrated. It was so delicious and fresh. From there, it's, it's about a two and a quarter mile hike out along the Grand Staff Canyon. It's something different in Moab that you're not gonna get from all the other trails in the national parks. You're crossing through this stream on your way out. It looks like a jungle in the middle of the desert and you're like, how is this real? Canyoneering is one of the best things you can do out here because it combines a beautiful hike through gorgeous scenery with a local guide. So you get a lot of good information about the history of the area, as well as getting the opportunity to push yourself a little bit, maybe take yourself outside of your comfort zone. I also loved watching my kids experience that thrill of coming over the edge. There's this feeling of success and, and joy. You've done this amazing thing that you might have been a little bit nervous about at the beginning. You got there because you did something hard. You walked backwards off the edge of a cliff. For my kids especially, that was amazing to watch.